All right, guys, I wanted to put a little video together of the parts that I made for the arrow. Uh, these are similar to the, to the canopy I made for the dart. Um, so uh, I've got some side fins here that I think look pretty cool. They've got a little protrusion there. It fits right into the end of the wing. That would glue in there. And then it's got some reinforcing parts for the canopy. So this is a little rear reinforcing piece that would actually be glued in. It goes in the back here. And that piece would be permanent. And then I've got a little spar reinforcing piece. And this piece would be glued in too. All the rest of the parts, uh, the canopy, upper canopy and the lower canopy um, are removable. So this, this spar reinforcer, is just the right size to slip a thousand milliamp under. I haven't got the CG figured out yet, but with all the space that is left open without building a, a, a boxed uh, fuselage in here, you've got plenty of room to put parts up underneath the wing and uh, you still move your battery around quite a bit to make your, get your, your center of gravity correct. So that's, that's the spar reinforcer. Uh, the lower canopy piece fits into the slots that would normally be there in your speed build kit or if you're custom building. If you're, if you're doing it from scratch, you don't need these, these center slots. I, I didn't use them. Uh, you don't really need them. This, it's so rigid, you really don't, don't need that extra support there. But if you have them, it's not a big deal. Um, my camera mount system, you cut a little slot in the, in the nose of the plane. Uh, I think that's about nine tenths of an inch deep and seven or eight tenths of an inch um, wide, just wide enough to fit this lower tab into. So you fit it in there and push it back. And then it's got a couple holes in there so that you can drive a couple barbecue skewers down in there to lock it in, which I'm not showing here, but. And then finally your canopy goes right over the top, folds around the back and clips right on. So you don't need any glue or any adhesive to hold your canopy on. You can take the whole thing off nice and sturdy. And then your, your uh, motor mounts back here. So that is my canopy system for the arrow. I'm gonna put it up on Thingiverse. Uh, they are a little tricky to print, so if you need help printing them, let me know. Um, if you don't have access to a printer, I'd be happy to help you out with that too. Let me know. Thanks guys.